Good afternoon, everybody. It is 420 here in Florida. And peace and love and blessings to everybody. Okay, you guys. Um, I'm so sorry about my air conditioner. If you hear a humming or a wind-like sound, that is my air conditioner. You guys, if I turn it off, I will get too hot. Um, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting out a couple of videos. Uh, and I'm going to apologize from the get-go because some of you are not going to want to hear something like this uh, within the body of Christ. And uh, believe me, I never in all my days thought that I would have to be defending myself from people that I actually have promoted. Um, and I thought that they knew what I taught. And, well, it's just very uh, disheartening. And lots of accusation and I want to let you know that I forgive everybody I really do in Jesus um, none of us are perfect uh, we receive things and perceive things in different ways and um, well I just want to share some things with you I want to hopefully give some clarity on a lot of things that are being said about Amanda and I and then also, well, there have been 11 other brothers and sisters that I know that they have attacked profusely. And one of them is Chad, uh, a brother Chad, uh, Watchman on the Wall 88. Uh, he's experienced their attacks. And, well, it's very unpleasant. And I want to state that this happened about four months ago. And I was completely silent through the whole thing. I made, I think, four comments. And I named David one time. And that's because the person that was doing the video was attacking Amanda and I on David's behalf. And, uh, well, we all know him. And his name is Mr. Christian. And actually, he's apologized to me and Amanda since then because he has fully understood uh, what this group is about also and um, well he had made a comment because you know after that video he went and marked us I'm, I'm going to explain all this in another video and that's not really what this video is about but I need to give you a little bit of a backdrop so you can understand why all this has been so hurtful um, and there's a lot of manipulation and this man is very very cunning uh, he's smart I'll, I'll give him that and he does have a lot of good teachings but there are some teachings that I don't agree with and neither does a lot of other people and well if you come against him oh boy <laughs> there's gonna be uh, some trouble and you're gonna be attacked but for two months there were 34, I count. I counted 34 plus videos made against Amanda and I. And I never put not the first video out, not one, not one. I only put like four comments and one of them was to Mr. Christian and then he said to me, well, I, don't, I haven't heard y'all's side of it. Y'all aren't saying anything. And so I put all of it down. I put everybody's names. Uh, I put everything, and that was the only time I ever put David's name and pretty much everybody else's name that was involved. Um, but it got erased, of course it got erased, and and that's okay. But what I'm doing on this video is I'm going to be defending my ministry. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about that. And I'm also going to be talking about vicariously keeping the law. Um, I'm, being, I'm being accused of sneakily teaching law. Sneakily. And I didn't even know that was a word. <laughs> so anyways. Uh, and about dreams. And about dreams. Um, so anyways, we're going to start. Well, I'm, yeah, we're going to start here. Five years ago, five years ago, when I 
came on YouTube, I started listening to people's streams uh, because, well, I want to go home. <laughs> I want to go home, and I have no qualms about saying that I'm ready to go home. I have nothing in this world. I, I want nothing in this world. It's becoming so evil and wicked. But I went on, well, actually, I started watching YouTube with my mama, and uh, she she was living with us, my husband and I, and we would go on and listen to the trumpets in the skies and all that. And then I started hearing, because I had went through almost 17 years of spiritual warfare to learn the things that I've learned. And they were personally taught to me by God. I mean, I'm just being absolutely truthful. I'm not trying to act like some, oh, whatever, you know, that I'm above anybody. I'm not. I went through spiritual warfare, and God waged the war. He put a hook in my mouth, and he dragged me back to him after being a carnal Christian most of my life, other than my childhood, up to about 14 years old. Um, so, he remade me, basically. He taught me a lot, a lot, during those years on my face. <laughs> and one of the things that I learned was how to interpret dreams. And the reason why I learned that is because I was going through horrible dreams and the Lord and I would ask the Lord and I mean to tell you you guys the relationship that I had with him then and I have it now it's in a different way though was because he ripped me apart in order to remake me and to teach me a lot of things and he taught me how to interpret dreams because I was going through some horrible, horrible dreams. I, you know, just things because, you know, the, the, the mind of the flesh is at enmity, hostility with God. And the mind of Christ, which is the mind of the spirit, is life and peace in Christ. So, you know, be not conformed, but be transformed into the renewing of your mind. Now, when you receive Jesus as your Savior, immediately upon believing in Christ and the gospel of his resurrection uh, you are justified you are sanctified you have been made righteous you have been made holy you have been made uh, pure white as snow uh, but the outer man well no not so much you have to go through a lot of things in order to be regenerated on the outer man the outer man and a good way to be regenerated is being washed by the word daily uh, prayer uh, you know submitting to God talking to the Father and if you fast some people fast some people don't uh, does any of that save you absolutely not does the law save you oh my goodness no <laughs> no one would be justified by the law but Back to my dreams and my ministry. I learned how to interpret dreams. I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. Um, I went to sleep one night and I had a horrific dream. And in the dream, the man that was in the driver's seat, uh, well, he basically told me that I was gonna get Lou Gehrig's disease. And he turned and offered me a cigarette, and I took it, and I started smoking. And, well, that freaked me out when I woke up. I thought, I mean, I went from the mind enmity from there all the way to life and peace, but it was a long, 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 long road. He remade me. I never lost my salvation. I was sealed on the inner man, but the outer man was being remade only to teach and to uh, elaborate um, what I learned to the best of my ability. I'm not eloquent of speech, I'm just a person. Uh, and it was for his will, his purpose, and his glory. And for what I'm doing now, uh, not only with uh, teaching and preaching the gospel, 
but also my dream interpretations because I can spot somebody in law and grace a, a mile away just by hearing the dream. But anyways, back to the dream. When I woke up and I went through probably, probably at least a day of warfare, uh, the Lord spoke to me within myself and he asked me, he said, do you smoke cigarettes? And I said, no, Lord. And he said, well, that dream is a lie. That's a lie. And he started to teach me about the mind of the flesh and the mind of the spirit, about the mind that is in condemnation, guilt, fear, shame, the lust of the flesh, all the things that are the lust of the flesh. And he started to teach me about the mind of Christ and the mind of the spirit, which is life and peace in our Lord Jesus Christ, knowing, I'm sorry y'all, knowing who we are in him and how we have been set free, set free from all guilt, all shame, all condemnation, all fear, all of it gone because he died for us and he rose on the third day for our justification. And there is nothing, nothing, nothing you can do to add to or maintain your salvation, but believe. <laughs> the only thing you can do is just believe in him. And that's when his righteousness is imputed to you. So, we started out, my mom and I, with the trumpets. <laughs> and... Uh, and then I started looking at the dreams because, you know, I was ready to go. And after learning how to interpret dreams, because I got a book called The Battle of the Mind, uh, the Lord would point me to, to people. He would point me to sermons. He would point me to the Word of God. He would point me, point me, point me and say, there it is, there it is. And I'd ask, and there it is, and I'd ask, and there it is, and I'd ask, and there it is. Every time he'd answer me, every time he would answer me, my questions. And so I learned. I learned a lot of stuff. Now, am I a Bible scholar? Absolutely not. I never claimed to be. All I ever wanted to do was come on here and preach Jesus. Uh, and the reason why I wanted to do that is because when I came on here and I started looking at the dreams, I could hear that people were saying, uh, are you rapture ready? Well, you better get rid of every bit of your sin and do 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 And I was like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> And the reason why I was like, what? What are you talking about? Is because when I was a little girl, I was uh, totally raised in a church that was grace. And I totally learned that it was his blood and the gospel. That's it. That's it. That's it. And I learned it and I lived it and I lived it all my life, all my life in grace, all my life, carnal Christian or not a carnal Christian. You know, if, if truth be told, we're all carnal Christians in one way or another. We all have strongholds. We all have, we're none of us are perfect. We're not going to be perfected in the flesh until we get our new incorruptible bodies that have no sin nature. And at that point, you'll be walking in perfected love on the outside, the flesh. On the inside, we already do because we are born in the family of God. So, I would hear their dreams and I would hear their, their speech the verbiage and I was like no 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 that's wrong that's wrong that's wrong that's wrong and I would try to tell them in the the comment section and I would get blocked from one end to the other <laughs> they were telling me I had demons in me and um, that I had the Jezebel spirit there's that wonderful Jezebel spirit again that I'm being accused of right now um, and uh, nothing could be further from the truth. I have the Holy Spirit in me, and greater is he that is in me than, than he that is in this world. Uh, but that was part of my gifting. And the reason why the Lord taught me is so I could 
come on here and say, no, that's not what Jesus is trying to tell you. He's trying to tell you that it was his blood, not yours. He's trying to tell you that to rest in him, that, that you don't have to do anything. And I don't mean you shouldn't. You don't have to. But you should. You should. You should pray. You should read your word, being washed by it daily. You should uh, submit to God because it's for your will, His will, His purpose, and His glory, and for your good. For your good. Uh, it's not to hurt you. It's to bring you to an expected end. And He can use you when you uh, submit to Him. So, anyways... You know, I started talking to Lashara. Lashara Pinkney was the first person on YouTube I started talking to. And she she would get on the phone with me and she would tease me. And she'd say, teacher, teacher, teacher. And I said, don't call me that. Don't call me that. I am not a teacher. I'm just a person that sees. And I just try to tell people in their comment section, no, no, no. And that was the first two years on YouTube. And, well, you know, I refused it, being called teacher. Because I knew that Jesus is the teacher. He's the rabbi. And uh, I was like, don't call me teacher. And then he gave me revelation. He says, I am the teacher of life. But we do need teachers to teach the gospel. And, and to, you know, just teach the word of God in general. So, <laughs> we're on the phone. And I told her I said well you know because she was trying to make me you know, not make me she was trying to get me to put a channel and she was trying to say Sherry come on you got to you got to and I'm telling you you guys there was nobody and I mean nobody teaching grace except for Renee Roland everybody else and I do mean everybody else had some kind of hint of law in their teachings and um, well on the phone with Lashara sorry guys um, I finally said to her I said I know I'll think about it because I told her I said you know Jesus gave me uh, an epiphany on that he was a teacher of life and that we do actually need teachers to teach the truth in the Word of God rightly divided um, and correctly interpreting scripture um, and just because I use something out of context like love um, that doesn't mean I don't know the word of God I, I don't know all the word of God I'll be honest with you I, I don't think anybody does I think it would take a lifetime to really know and study the word of God and then the Holy Spirit really has to work on us um, with revelation but I uh <laughs> You know, I told her, I said, you know, the Lord has told me that about teaching. And, and at that point in time, my right hand started to heat up. And that's what happens to me when I'm speaking truth. A lot of times my right hand will start heating up. And she so, she told me on the phone, she says, well, my left side of my face is heating up. And, <laughs> and that's what happens to her. And it was kind of funny, you know. And it was like, oh, my goodness. So, okay, so after that, I went to bed. You know, I went to sleep. And the Lord gave me a dream and and I know it was the Lord and I know about testing the spirits <laughs> I know about it to to a degree that um, wow is a lot of people don't know because he did teach me a lot of things about dreams and interpreting in the mind of the flesh and the mind of the spirit and I have taught a lot of other people that stuff I've, I've taught them um, but they have seemed to have forgotten uh, but the dream was this. It was my mother's neighborhood. I went into the office, and this is the person that owns the neighborhood. And I knew it was Jesus. I knew it was God. And he handed me my license in a dream. And outside of the building was this huge king-size bed. i would never seen nothing like it. And it had a beautiful red velvet like uh, comforter on top of it and uh, I know that to be rest resting in Jesus 
And I knew that he, at that point, was giving me my license. And still at that point, even though I was like, I know, I know, okay, we do need teachers, do, 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 do. And, but I was still fighting. I, I didn't want to teach. I didn't want to go on YouTube. I'm very technically uh, challenged, <laughs> as a lot of people know. Um, but he gave me two more dreams. And then I went, okay. So I knew that dream was not from me. It was not from my carnal mind. I, it was very, very bright and very vivid. And I knew it was from the Lord, all three of those dreams. And so I went, okay, I guess I'll get on there and do the best I can. And so I did. And in the last two years, about a year and a half, year, eight months, something like that, I would see somebody that was catching on, they would make a channel, this and that, and I'd promote them, and I'd promote them, and I'd promote them, and I'd promote them, and I'd promote them. And I did that to a lot of people, a lot of people. And it wasn't promoting them, it was promoting Jesus, meaning they were teaching the right gospel. And I was like, yay, yay. <laughs> it started catching on. <laughs> uh, and, um, you know, not only for my teachings, but I guess other people were ha hearing it. And, and then I fought with uh, Amanda Christian for nine months, <laughs> trying to teach her grace because she was steeped in law. And I do mean steeped in law. Um, it took me a long time and a lot of prayer uh, to finally get through to her that, you know, it's the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ and it was his death burial and resurrection and that's it that's it um and yeah it was quite the fight it was quite the fight uh but she finally came through and oh boy has she been a powerhouse for grace ever since so i'm gonna read this little thing out because uh so i'm gonna say so i am now being accused not of reading or understanding the Word of God and I am also being accused of sneakily I didn't even know that was a word sneakily teaching law because some people have said that I am teaching that we are vicariously keeping the law through Jesus well I, I did a video and um, all I can say is if you took that away from that video then uh, let me explain what I was trying to say another way. And yes, I write things down, you guys, scripture and everything, because I have had a stroke. I'm not supposed to be here, but according to God, I am. And all I can say is, but God. And um, yeah, I had about two seconds left and I would have been gone. I felt my spirit leaving. And, uh, and the peace that passes all understanding. And I'm not going to get into that right now. But I'm, I want to try to explain this in another way for people to understand what I was saying in that video. I have never, will never, ever, ever, ever. I am the epitome of grace. I've lived grace all my life. I know what grace is. I know what the love of God is. I know how that uh, exudes love out of us. I've had it since a little girl. I understood Jesus' love for me since I was a little girl. I understood the gospel since I was a little girl. I have lived in grace all my life. Um, all my life. I have been saved for 49 years. <laughs> 49 years I've been in grace. Okay, so anyways. My video that everybody is in question of and accusing me of. I'm going to say it's simple. It says in scripture, Matthew 22, 37 through 40. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments, two, those two, hang all the law and the prophets. Now we have to understand that, you know, you know, forget the whole Torah, the 613, but in actuality, even the whole Torah, but the Ten Commandments, the first four are uh, to God, and the 
last six are to man. And it's basically saying, don't kill, don't steal, don't take the Lord's name in vain, da-da-da-da-da. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. It's, and that's love. That's love. That's love. Don't do that. Don't do that towards God. Don't do that towards man. And if you're not doing those things towards people and many, many other things, then you are walking in love. And it also says, love worketh no ill to his brother or to his neighbor, excuse me. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. It says in John 4, 7, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. 1 John 4, 7. Dear friends. Okay, so, okay, that was the second part of that scripture is in, a, in LT. But I'll say it again. John 4, 7. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God and then it says dear friends let us continue to love one another for love comes from God anyone who loves is a child of God and knows God and it also says in scripture that the two men Christ and you have been made one in him so we know he loves the father and he loves us we know that so when we believe the gospel and we are sealed with God's Holy Spirit Christ's righteousness has then been imputed to us then we too are fulfilling the law of love in our inner man because we have been born again made a part of God's family John 4, 7, I'm going to say it again. Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. Dear friends, let us continue to love one another for love comes from God. Anyone who loves is a child of God and knows God. It's very simple. It's very simple. If Christ be in you, and we know that he loves the Father, and we know that he loves us, it says it in Scripture, and we are at the righteousness of Christ, then we too are fulfilling the law of love, which is the law of Christ, which is the fulfillment of the law. And that is love. In one word, that is love. And if, if you don't understand what I'm trying to say here, well, I'm sorry, I... I, I I don't know what else to say other than on the inner man we do love the Lord our God with all our heart mind soul and strength and we do love one another perfectly we're made perfect in love in God um, on the inner man the outer man not so much uh, so I just wanted to share this with you this is the first part and I want to let you guys know that my ministry if somebody anybody has a problem with my ministry and my dream interpretation, and I do dreams, because, you know, it also says um, in Acts, it says, you know, that in the last days, he will pour out his spirit on all flesh. And your young men will dream dreams, and your old men, or your old men will dream dreams, and your young men will see visions. Uh, and that is in the last days, and we are in the last days, and he is using people uh, to get the point across that we don't have much time and that they need to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior. Period. It's a warning. He's warning. He's been warning for years now. I know probably about a good 10 years with dreams, probably even longer than that. Uh, so I'm really sorry if you guys don't understand what I teach. Um, even more sorry that the people that I have promoted because of what they teach it's not because I'm promoting them it's because they're promoting grace I'm real sorry that uh, now they're against me and and right here we have Melanie Dunn and uh, God bless her and I promoted her channel and let, let's go let's go look because I want you all to know that I'm not lying 
Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Oh, and Sabrina Nisveen. I have promoted her channel because she was preaching and teaching grace. Um, some people have taken down their channels because they're scared that if they say something wrong, oh boy, it's going to come back to haunt them. Uh, well, I'm not going to do that because I had my license given to me by God. Uh, I'm not going to let people threaten me. I am a child of God. Uh, and sometimes you just have to go after Goliath. You have to go up against him. You know? <laughs> It's just the way it is. And let's see here. Let's let's go down and see who else I've promoted. Uh, and, and again, it's their it's what they're what they're believing. What they're believing. Oh yeah, Colleen, Colleen. I've, I've oof, boy, did I promote her channel. Um, and she did mine too. And uh, I taught her a lot about resting in Christ. So let's keep going here. Sorry about this. Oh, Greg, Greg. Yeah, I, I promoted Greg's channel. Yeah. And let's see who else. Oh, my goodness. There's so many of them. Brother Dave promoted his channel. Um, the Shara. Absolutely. She's my twin, you guys. She's black, I'm white, we're twins. <laughs> In the Holy Spirit, amen. <laughs> okay, so... Hold on. Yeah, I didn't promote her. She's, uh... <laughs> she... Yeah. Uh, let's see who else here. I know there's more. There's a bunch more. Oh, here we go. Sealed by the Blood. Saved Sinner. Promoted her. Um... Yeah. Mm hmm Susan. Susan Newmeyer promoted her. Oh, Petra. Petra Renatus promoted her, too. Her channel. But now, some of these people are coming against me. And, gosh, I guess they just forget what I teach. What I've always taught. I don't understand it. But I just wanted to give you guys um, a jest about my channel about the gifting that God has given me um, and, it, and it is of interpretation and I'm sorry that's not in the Bible but uh, it is a real gifting and my gifting is law and grace and heart issues that's my real gifting uh, from the mind of the flesh the mind of the spirit uh, that's how I uh, interpret dreams I do test the spirits um, and by the way not all dreams are going to line up with scripture and i'll give you an example on that too what i mean by that well let's see what am i gonna okay so uh a neighbor across the street he had a son or she had a son excuse me and i had a dream about this young man and according to him he believed in jesus and so they went to church and everything and um but this young man was having some problems, okay, with drinking. And so the Lord gave me a dream about him. And he showed me an upstairs apartment. He showed me he, him in the apartment. He showed me a tray. He showed me a spoon and, um, and a bag. I think it, it looked like it was like brown and, uh, but I knew it to be heroin. I knew it. And I went and I told her. I said, your son's doing heroin. And she said, oh, no, he's not. No, he is not doing heroin. I said, yes, he is. I said, the Lord gave me a dream about it. And, um, well, I'm going to say about three days later, she questioned him. She started to question him. And he told her, he said, yeah, I do, I do do heroin. And so, heroin is nowhere in the Bible, okay? Um, I do believe this young man was saved. I just believe he was going down the wrong road. Um, you know, whatever you feed grows, and I've taught that this whole three years that I've been on YouTube, on my channel. I've been on YouTube for five years, two years in the comments, trying to teach people about grace, 
uh, and about the gospel and the last three years on my channel. And I know this video is really long, you guys, but there's a whole lot I needed to get out here. Uh, and uh, people are slamming my ministry, slamming me, slamming what I teach, slamming the dreams, slamming my interpretations, slamming uh, that I don't read my Bible and it, I would do well to read my Bible and believe it. <laughs> okay. So anyways, I just wanted to share all this with you. And yeah, it is very upsetting. And there's going to be another video too. Oh, and Sabrina. Did I mention Sabrina? That I, yeah, that I promoted her. And a lot of other people, you guys. So many people. Uh, I can't even remember all of them. Um, and I can't go through my whole, I have almost 900 videos. And Susan, Susan Newmeyer promoted her uh, yeah I think I said that already anyways I just want to let you guys know that my my channel which belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ has all kinds of things in it I have lots and lots of teachings I have birthdays I have prayer videos for people I have oh my goodness I look for uh, what's going on in the news and what's going on in the war I do dream interpretation. I do put dreams on here. Uh, I do a whole lot of stuff on here. And yes, I have asked for people, for, for money for people. Um, because we, you know, we're not to be respecters of persons. And we are to love one another and to help one another as brothers and sisters. If you can do it. If you can't, that's fine. Uh, I have asked for money one time on here. One time. And that's another thing that's being said and thrown up. But um, I'm going to leave it right there, and I'm just going to let you know that my ministry is from God. And it is what it is, and I'm sorry if you don't like it, and I'm sorry if you don't agree with it. And I'm sorry if you don't understand that I am not vicariously keeping the law through the Lord Jesus Christ. We are not saved by the law at all, in any way, shape, or form. We cannot add to or maintain what the Lord Jesus has done. His work is complete. It's been completed totally completed on the cross and he is sitting on the right hand side of the father and so are we in him we are just walking out this life until we get there and i want to let you all know i love you and i forgive you i really do and, and i wish that you would huh, see me for who i am i'm not perfect but i am your brother i am your sister and I've been hurt so very badly. I'm a very hypersensitive person. It's probably because I received Jesus in the right way as a little girl. And I've always walked in love. Always, always. It just comes out of me. It's not something I force. I am a mama bear. Uh -huh. But I didn't name myself that. I was named. I was named that by Colleen and Susan. I don't know which one would say it first. I don't know. I don't remember. But I didn't put that name on me. They did. There's a lot that I'm going to say and I want to say and I'm going to say. Um, and it's not to hurt anybody. It's to set the record straight. Anyways, you guys have a blessed day. And I'm so sorry. And I'm so sorry that I'm having to do this and defend myself. Because it's there's been so many videos made about me, y'all. And, and they're so ugly and, and, and they're putting me in a light to where I'm having to defend myself. I hope you understand. I'll be back. Amen and amen.